We're trying to get a nice mix of theory, which is learning all this wonderful stuff I've been talking about, about, oh, primates this and this is why we study them, with applied. Mm -hmm. How do you go out and watch primates? So they're getting lots of fieldwork practice actually going and observing primates. We were actually able to do the observation, look at the data, see how it's actually gathered, and as far as primates go, I, I learned a lot about primates and the differences and how many different species there are and, and a lot about the research process. Just recognizing the different behaviors now, it's a completely different experience going to the zoo. So now, after taking this class, it's just been a whole turn, 360 degree turnaround in the way I observe animals, primates, and zoos. Now, I don't think I'll ever go to a zoo again and, you know, not be thinking about all the things that go on behind the scenes. The idea to be able to look at chimps in an institutionalized setting to see how they're handled and I just wanted that opportunity. They did a lot actually today to help the Chimp Haven staff. They did data collection for our behavioral department um, where they watched some of the chimpanzees and did focal animal follows and they also made a lot of enrichment for the chimpanzees, different uh, treats and special things. Seeing a state-of-the-art facility like that that's normally closed to the public was an absolutely amazing experience. I had no concept of a research facility or a holding facility. When you sit there and look at them in their environment and the way they interact and when you read their body language, they just give you a different view of them. I really like anthropology as a field and I'd love to have a career in it.